go down here. We need to go reset everything. Alright. Talents. Scroll up here. Actually, let's scroll down. Uh, since I am a human, I want at least one point in strength boost. I want the scanner mode things. And then from that point forward, it's a simple matter of specking into these. Again, leaving out diplomacy and intimidation because of this no faction bug, which is really frustrating. Hope that gets fixed. All right, three points left to put into whatever I want. Hmm. I think I'd like custom DNA. It's it's just so so nice to be able to respawn quickly if you die. I'm gonna keep five points in reserve for the pilot because we've got that one uh, thing researching, and we can actually we can be heading back. Like I said, I don't need the neural rewriter uh, for the bots. I can do that anywhere for them, but for me, I have to have it. Okay, let's see. I guess we'll do custom DNA for you as well, and some health boost. And one point in armor boost, but I'm going to leave five points in reserve. Ship detection, we don't care about signature, we can't go stealth anyway, really. It is unfortunate that stealth um, without a cloak is pretty much impossible. It is very unfortunate, though. Okay, why am I... Oh, right, because I'm in offline mode, it pauses the game whenever this is open. I really wish I could turn that off. Um... Let's give you that uh, custom DNA, and we'll just add in points. I did notice earlier that my weapons bot was a bit over encumbered, so I'm, I am going to give him one point in strength boost. Otherwise, we're pretty much just going to... Oh, wait, hang on. Missile expert is a low priority. No, oh, well, we've got just enough for it. Okay. All right. Engineer bot never, or the engineer in Pulsar just never gets any personal points because he's got so many things to spend points on. Mm, let's do this. Custom coolant mix. Auto repair. Two points left. We're going to go into that. Okay. That should be good. Although... Where is it? There it is. I am tempted, just for the time being, you can do this at any barber. I think I'm going to swap over to a robot here. Um... Let's grab a blue. I think the last time I played as a robot, I must have played as engineer because I had it set up on orange. I like to, to keep with the theme. All right. Hopefully they had enough time to line everything up. Maybe not. Just because this next planet, I know for a fact, has that acidic climate which makes it very annoying, and you have to trek around with an exosuit on, and it's just a pain, so. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and put our repair gun and our fire extinguisher back on. I can make do with my pistol and my heavy beam pistol, my face pistol and my heavy beam pistol, um, but if there's an emergency on board the ship, then I want to make sure I've got my repair gun and fire extinguisher ready to go. All right, so they want us to take out some, some competition. All right, we're going to 
rob your base first, though. Hope you don't mind. It's, uh, it's the price of working with, with me, I'm afraid. I'm gonna rob your stuff. Okay. That looks like everything, as far as I can tell. And we got some science material back here, it looks like. I don't see this planet very often. Um, I'm not sure why, I guess it's just luck of the draw. Alright, so let's go find these guys. I want to say they're back here somewhere, but like I said, it's been a while, so I'm not entirely sure that this is the right way. That could just be another one of those pits, but it looks a little different than the the smoke coming out of the pits, so that's why I chose this way. Yep, this is it. Okay, let's grab our heavy beam, take a couple shots. There he is, okay. He's down. Let's see, who else do we have? Down you go. Down you go. Well, this guy's coming for me. There we go. Got him. Okay, there are some pickups in here, it looks like. So, let's grab those. Oof, fire. Is that fuel canister? Yeah. There's one. There's another one right there. And this is the best part about having actual people on your crew, is that someone else could be turning in this mission to the robots right now. And then we could just warp out, and I wouldn't have to run all this way back. But AI is incapable of turning in missions, unfortunately, so... We'll just, we'll just walk manually. It's fine. I love how in this game, everything you see in the sky is actually from the map, right? That orange area is an infected area of space or a space that's covered in infection. And those stars are actually systems that you can jump to. It's really cool. Uh, it's a great detail that I think a lot of developers wouldn't bother with. So, I appreciate it, though. Alright, 3,000 credits. Not entirely sure that was worth the time, but... <laughs> it's okay, we're kind of going for a completionist run here. Grab another ammo clip. I used one up during the arena, so... All right. Oh, I need to reset my course here. Let's get out of here. Oh, what's this? Don't jump yet. Slapdash and the torch. 12,000 credit reward. We will take that. Now, where is that? Oh, cool. It's right in the, in the vicinity. So we will... You know what? We could actually use some repairs. Let's do this. Oops. Wrong thing. There we go. Alright, we're going to ping pong around a little bit here. But that'll let us get some repairs before we go do that bounty. And uh, we'll get a little bit of space combat in this stream. All right. Add attention. Get us into that repair bay, please. And while we're at... Oops. Nope, not that. Ah, there we go. What do we have in our cargo? Ooh. All right, so some of these things... I know for a fact that I want to sell. Let's see what this uh, Stark Thruster looks like. 
Got a level 12 and a level 12. This is a level 13. Absolutely. Uh, QDI RCG. Sorry, don't have room for that. And we'll sell this other Dark Thruster. Okay, so these are the special deals. Again, uh, there looks like a 50% discount because of the Fragment. And then I've additionally got a 25% discount because of our good or at least decent reputation with WD. So let's see if this will work with just this uh, this amount of discount here. Automated Railgun Turret for 4788 And we sell it for 5320 Is it an exploit? Almost certainly. Yep. But it's fine. It's fun. I, I paid 100000 for this thing. It better better pay itself off. And who knows, maybe some of this will be useful. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Let me let me look at these other things, though. Can we compare those? Oh, hang on. All right. We've got a heavy maneuvering thruster with 20 maneuvering thrust, 8,000 usage. Okay. So that's not as efficient as ours. I think we're fine with our maneuvering thruster currently. Corbin's wall is going to be better than those, so I'm not going to I'm not going to get rid of that. We are going to sell these things. Okay. What other uh deals do you have going? <laughs> got a tactical nuke. Okay, we'll buy that. We definitely can't uh, equip that, though. And we'll sell it back to you. <laughs> They're probably super confused by all of this. Uh, so we've got a level 6 military-grade hull. I am double-checking to see if there's any, any hull that we might want to buy and equip, because that would save us money on... Well, it wouldn't save us money, but it would negate the need for a repair. Goodness. Level 8 Racing Thruster. Man. I, I would get it, but it, it's just it's too powerful for Pi, Pi Bot, and occasionally I do want Pi Bot to handle piloting. Uh, most of the time I'll be doing it, but he just can't can't work with that powerful of an engine, unfortunately. So let's see, what's our it's been too long. I don't remember what uh reactor we have. We've got an advanced fusion level five. Have I spent scrap on that though? I honestly don't remember if I did or not. I might have been planning to stay with the Advanced Fusion, or I might have just found a level 5. I'm not 100% sure. Because normally I go for a Thermo Core, and that's what my bots are really set up to, to handle um, most of the time. Okay, that's a level 3 versus a level 4. Yeah, usually, usually I go for a thermo core. So, speaking of which, that reminds me that I need to turn off this before we go into combat. Okay, I think I think we're good. We don't need anything that they have here, so we're gonna switch over to the repair or repair and fully repair hull. For 4,000 credits. Alright. So we've got one... Um, one system before our combat here. So... You know what? Actually... I did want to test. Because I... I kind of carelessly swapped that engine out. And I need to make sure that we're not... Ugh, that's too fast for PyBot. <laughs> um...
Did I do something? Oh, I went from a level 2 to a level 13. Ooh, okay. Um, I guess what... Hang on. Is that more efficient? It's like two and a half... Well, a little more than two and a half times the thrust. And nearly three times... Okay, so it's not quite as efficient. Um, let me let me do the calculation real quick. I don't I don't trust my mental math most of the time. Let's see, twenty forty over thirty two. Oh wait, actually, well yeah, okay, so that's sixty three power per thrust, and this is seven twenty over twelve. That's 60, yeah. So technically this one, this level 2, is technically just a little bit more efficient, but not significantly so. So I think what we're going to do is unequip this level 2. We're just going to sell that. What does that put us at in terms of max speed now? I'm happiest with my PyBot when he's limited to about 350. Okay, we've got a top speed of about 600 with no boost. Um, so let's see, that's 350 over 600 is the same as, what, 5 eighths? No. No, that's 7 twelfths. All right. Just very slow. Okay, so that should put us at a, a top speed of about 350. Doesn't have to be exact. I just want it somewhere close to that. Somewhere in that range. Let's test that. Yep, good enough. All right. Get us out of here, engine bot. NG bot. Fine, I'll push it. Uh, sometimes bots are a little slow to do their job. They used to be like instantaneous and they were a little bit too powerful, honestly. Uh, talents. Got two points. I'm going to put some into health boost there, although I don't need the point in strength boost now. But oh well. It's fine. Yeah, I, I am curious. <laughs> 40. Goodness. Alright. Has this finished? Yes, it has. So we're just going to upgrade him on that. We'll give Cybot some more health. Weapons bot, you can take some custom DNA. NG bot, you can take that. All right, what's this planet look like? Not that it really matters, given that I am now a robot, so. Ooh. This is a cool planet. System, whatever. It's not really a planet. I don't... I mean, I guess we could be inside of a planet right now. There's nothing preventing that. Um... But I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a planet or just some weird area of space. Grab some fuel here. And yeah, there it is. Oop, stuck on the on the ship. How do I get back there? Here we go. Yeah, this is a uh remnant of a very unfortunate ship which I'm assuming just jumped into the wrong spot all right that's not the cool part of this planet or system or whatever you want to call it this up here is
So in here, we have this really cool chamber with this cool tree. And in the tree, some glowing things, which are research material that are very, very helpful. So the ones that I just picked up a minute ago, they're the ones that give white science points, which we have just like 30 of at this point, something like that. Hello, question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a very unusual name. He says the fruits on this tree are strange indeed. I'll bet. I'm assuming that he became invisible or he became a ghost because he ate one. Um, guess that might be a poor assumption. He might just be a ghost man and he just thinks that the fruits are particularly weird. Which is fair, they are particularly weird. But he doesn't really have anything else associated with him, which is a little unfortunate. You know, in such a unique location, you'd kind of expect that maybe the NPC, the one NPC that's here, would have some, I don't know, unique quest or something associated with them. And just some XP orbs around a very strange fire. Well, the fire's not strange, but the the weird tree plant things around it are. Alright, bots, get us out of here. Okay. Let's just drop these in here. So these things from the tree give the black science points. Oh, apparently I have some Sylvasi stems as well. I don't remember picking those up. <laughs> uh... long do we have on this jump? Not long. Okay. This is what we'll do. Alright. And this will be combat. So, let's get into red alert. Let me on the pilot station. I'm going to pop it into fixed view and drop us out of warp. Grab the auto target. Wait. Why are we not moving? Ah. There we go. Why are they not firing at us? Alright, now the torch is appropriately named. He has a, like, flamethrower turret. So we don't want to get too close to him or he'll use that on us, and it's kind of nasty. So we're going to maintain our distance and just blast him from afar. Okay, they're finally firing at me. Uh, or at least slapdash is. I don't know if torch is. Let's switch over into hybrid view. Okay, they've landed a hit, finally. And Torch is finally doing something. Unfortunately, he's not looking too great, so... Alright, alright, come on. Ooh, okay. We are going to start taking hull damage here in a second, so I'm going to kind of open up distance between us, I think. Just to kind of make it less likely that they'll hit us. What is... Oh, I twisted that the wrong way. It's weird looking at it from, from the side angle like this. A little bit. Alright. Let's do some damage on them. hate that where the missile blocks the the weapon bots shot oh got intruders that's no good man we were chewing through them at first and now things aren't going so well all right let's let's get some distance here 
Ow, 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 ow. Fire. Oh, and I think they've hit us with a sitting duck or something because I can't seem to get any uh, speed out of this. So let's, let's use some maneuvering thrusters. Ow. All right. Tactical retreat. <laughs> this guy must have like a layered hull or something because we're not... We're like barely scratching him now, whereas before we were we were doing substantial damage, um, and now it's it's like nothing. Okay, there's our main engines back finally. What are you shooting at, weapon spot? Oh, right, it's a 10 kilometer range on the rapid fire. Ooh, crap. All right, that guy's back in range now, unfortunately. Let's get in here. Okay. We're in range, weapon spot should be firing, and he's not. For uh, There we go. I mean, that's not weapon spot, though. That's just the focus laser turret. Weapon bot, what are you doing? What you doing, buddy? Oh, there must have been an intruder near him. There we go. Come on, die already. Shield piercer missile is just just orbiting us. It's fine. No need to panic. Oh. No, that's no good. And what happened to this other guy? Where'd he go? Did he die? How did he die? Or did he cloak or something? Yeah, destroy Slapdash. So Slapdash is still out there somewhere, but I'm going to give it a second to catch our breath. Did he jump out? Okay, what's what's happening back here? Oh, we've got an intruder. Okay. Um let's let's go to at ease here for a second. gonna also tell the AI just to come stand in the atrium with me also All right okay I'm healed up get in the atrium yourself okay where is slapdash? He's got to be here somewhere. Unless he jumped out, which they shouldn't be allowed to do. I thought they had fixed that. And I don't know why he would jump out. He wasn't really damaged. Because um, I wasn't focusing fire on him. So the only other thing I can think of is that maybe he cloaked. Which is very annoying if that is the case because that means that I'm gonna to have to search for him by eye and that's always super hard to find let's uh let's give a scan and let's check our transporter he's not on the transporter which I think means that he jumped out 
Does the captain's log say anything about that? I don't remember if it does. I don't think it says whenever somebody, um, whenever a ship jumps out. That's annoying. All right, we are going to try jumping to, say, that system and then jumping back and see if he's here. If it's not, then we might just have to take a loss on this one. Um... But I, I don't think he's in the system still, because if he's in the system, he should show up on the teleporter uh, screen. At least that's my understanding. It's always been that way if they cloak. Okay. I set that intermediate point there because sometimes they get confused if you ask them to go on a straight return course. Um... They don't do well with that sometimes. I guess I could load an auto save. Um, I don't know when the last one was though. Hmm. Two intruder alarms popped off in between two auto saves. Anybody here? I don't see anyone. Man, that's annoying. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and see if we can figure that out. 